Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today let us see what are the top 10 things we can learn from the artist Monet who was an impressionist artist who started the entire impressionism movement. And you will not believe the number one lesson that we can learn from Monet's artwork. So stay tuned till the end to know about it. And in today's video, I am also attempting Monet's work using oil pastels. These are just the basic oil pastels I got from a local shop and the results will be revealed also in the end fingers crossed without any further ado let us get into the video so at number 10 it is persistence this sounds very usual for you all but you know when you look at the initial student days works of Monet you will see a lot of details which are planets apart from what he has achieved and done in the later years but you cannot overlook the determination of Monet to succeed as an artist if you are also an artist in starting out do not give up on your art no matter what keep doing what you are doing because persistence is the key guys persistence is the only thing that can win a lot of battles for you because Monet achieved success in the later years of his art journey and it wouldn't have been possible if he wasn't persistent and continuously was creating a lot of work which led him to become the Monet we know of right now at number nine we have change change in your artistic career in your artistic path when Monet started out he was working as a caricature artist he was also selling his work which later helped him to study art in Paris but apart from that when he started out he was a caricature artist and he transformed into a landscape artist landscape painter it is totally fine if you at some point decided to not pursue that portraiture it is okay if at some point in your life you have decided to change your artistic journey totally because when we are growing and our life we will be exposed to a lot of things and when the horizons of our awareness expands there might be some things that we want to adopt and we want to change something in ourselves when I started out I was also a portrait painter but then later transformed into landscape artist you don't have to worry about the people who have been following you if you have a social media following because the people who appreciate you as an artist will come back and will stick around with you do it without a fear because Monet has done it and a lot of other artists have done it too at number eight we have painting from life Monet painted his wife Camille a lot of times and also his son so he was actually studying from life the later portraits and the later landscapes which Monet did was also plein air painting which is painting on the live location it is good to paint from photos it is good to paint from videos or paint from other artists or just imagination paintings but when you are actually painting live things when you are actually looking at them you can interpret them in your own form and that is how Monet also would have achieved impressionism because he had his own interpretation of things so painting from life is mandatory if you want to grow as an artist if you haven't done painting from life initially it will not turn out to be as pleasing as you want or as something which you have done or achieved from painting from a photograph but if you continue doing painting from life you will see a bigger change in yourself and a bigger change in your ideas when the object is in 3d you actually have to put an effort in order to paint it in order to understand the surface of the object so yeah painting from life guys asking for help now the next thing I would like to tell you all is asking for help. Monet did not hesitate to ask for help from the gallery people and also the collectors. He would send out letters to the collectors and galleries in order for them to know that he was in need of financial support in order to do the work which he wanted to do. He has actually asked for, for buying paints and the things that are needed in a painting. He was very determined to go to any extent in order to support his art journey are you also asking for help from other people because if you are not asking for help nobody will know that you actually need it sometimes people need to know that the other person needs help and that can only be done when you actually tell them it doesn't have to be always in the financial terms it can be the support of them teaching you something maybe some of your friends are good in marketing you can ask for help for marketing and things that will help you in your art journey 
journey when it comes to asking for help here i am do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and number 6 is focus mune was a so focused that he did not work any other job he was just into painting he knew nothing else other than painting he just had one goal in life which was to become an artist which was to paint and he did that throughout his life he was also supported by his father in his initial art journey but later on when he married his wife camille his father did not support him and then uh, he has to support himself he was so focused about his work that he actually started an entire movement which is called impressionist movement and that started with only one painting of monet which was selected in an art exhibition fifth point is attention to details monet did not painted each leaf in a tree but he painted the detail of the atmosphere he actually wanted to paint the air because you when you look at his work you will feel the ambience you will feel the atmosphere when you look at afternoon paintings they will they will feel like afternoon paintings they are really calm and quiet paintings you can hear the calmness uh, when you see his work he was behind details but not the details that we think of as details i mean he was not behind every hair of a human person but he was behind the details of the feelings he was creating an impression of it how he felt being there sometimes you know you will see people saying that they they are feeling really good at certain places he captured that and i was i was astonished to see some of his work which actually did that i will show you some of the paintings that really captured my attention i mean it was like you are really there and one more thing which he did was he painted people he painted people as a part of landscape so when he painted humans human became the part of his landscape only which was which was awesome amazing so details guys not in the sense uh, of every leaf but the details of the feelings number 4 is painting the same scene again and again and again when he bought his new house there was a pond behind and then he designed and decorated the pond and made a bridge over it and he painted that scene for 20 years that is till the end of his life he painted water lilies and that is why he was famous now when i am talking about how he could paint the same subject matter because he was not behind the details of the bridges or the water lilies he was behind the atmosphere he was trying to capture something different he was not trying to capture the lilies or the bridges or the same scene to him it was about the zest of everything it was about the atmosphere it was about the lighting and it was about the colors guys you can actually paint the same subject you can experiment with it now if you are doing a still life study you can put an egg suppose you are painting an egg you can paint an egg with different lighting situation and see what works and how you can learn a lot from a just a single subject matter because now you can see a lot of things which you would have never seen if you were painting different different things and if you're painting a tree in different lighting in the evening you are painting the same scene i have seen many artists doing this they'll be painting the same scene with a uh, different uh, timings like in the morning they will be painting in the evening when the light changes how the light is changing how the shadows are falling on the objects so you can also do that so painting the same subject is okay now number 3 at number 3 we have the simplicity of compositions you can see how simple his landscapes were you know one of the landscape is divided into two equal parts the landscapes were really simple the sky and the grasses guys that's all he made the landscape pleasant only by his brush strokes his usage of color and the depiction of atmosphere in his painting so you don't have to actually go into a very complicated scene you can also achieve depth by simply placing people front and at the back like what he has done in one of his painting showing the sizes of the object which will depict depth in the painting so he has done a simple flower bouquet which looks amazing why because of the impression he 
he was not behind every petals of the flower he was behind the shapes and he was behind the shadows and he was actually concerned about the impression of the flowers now here are some of the paintings and i will draw shapes in order to show the simplicity of the compositions now here you can see how simple the compositions are in all of these works now at number two we have listening to self now, when monet was painting there was a realism all around and people were painting realistic or uh, landscapes plein air painting was very popular people were concerned about painting objects they were more concerned about the shapes and the lines and the objects but whereas monet was more concerned about capturing the atmosphere he was concerned about capturing the breeze he listened to himself and i am sure that he wouldn't have been accepted by the largest art community at that time but he believed in his work and which led him to continue working and also in some of his paintings where he painted buildings and water he was not even concerned about the separation between the buildings and water you can see that he was his own director he was giving himself directions and that you can do only by focus and dedication so yes guys listen to yourself because you know better about your work and you know better where you want to go and what is the thing that you love the most do not diminish the voice which is telling you to do something else and now we have come on to the number one lesson number one point which we can take away from Monet's work and that is intimacy you can actually achieve intimacy in a landscape work also so Monet was experimenting with perspective a lot he would change the perspective of the paintings like if he is painting a landscape he will go uphill in order to paint the entire landscape i will show some of the examples he would always attempt something which is totally different intimacy was one of the things which you can see in the water lilies painting in the earlier works of monet you can see he has placed the viewer at a distance like in this painting you can see the viewer is at a distance whereas when he painted water lilies he put the viewer very close to the subject matter now in this painting you can see he placed us just near the water lily so all that is visible is the flower in the background of water that is the kind of intimacy he achieved from his landscape now here are the two paintings guys i have done using oil pastels which was a challenge for me do let me know in the comment section which one you like the most thank you so much guys for watching this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you will get notified if i put up another video Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.